Hi everyone. Hey. Welcome to day 16 of our testimony challenge. It has been an amazing, uh, over two weeks now of sharing yeah. just so many amazing stories of what God has done. So many miracles that uh, we've shared and had others come on and share. And it's just been so much fun to talk about the goodness of God and all of the things that God is doing in our lives. Yep. And I know we may come across a little redundant with this, but we are loving the comments, the mm -hmm. private messages, the prayer requests, the testimonies. And just keep in mind, there is no such thing as a small testimony. Yeah. So, you know, in sharing, as you've been sharing different things, or uh, excuse me, as you've been hearing us share different things, and then as you've been reading, we don't want anyone to feel like, well, my testimony doesn't seem extravagant. Every testimony of Jesus is a big deal. And we just want people to catch on with this, you know, to join us, even though we're halfway through, it doesn't matter. Today's your day one to start sharing different things the Lord has done in your life. We would love to hear it, and we're excited about it. Um, so as Joanna said, today's uh, day 16, and uh, and we have a special guest today, the amazing Jason Wiggs. Uh, we love her so much, and she has such a great testimony to share today. And then afterwards, we're going to actually pray for the thing that Jace is going to share happened that Jesus did. And uh, and so get ready. It's exciting. And we're going to hand it off to her. And she's going to share her testimony. So it was one Sunday. We went down to Turtle Park to do a treasure hunt. We asked the Lord if we felt anything. And I had a knee pain. Like my knee started to hurt. And I felt like this lady and her husband that were flying a kite were the target. Like they, I, I was just drawn to them. So I walked up to her and I asked her, does your knee hurt? And she was like, yeah. I was like, okay, can I pray for you? And she was like, yeah. So I prayed for her twice or just once? I think just once. Just once, okay. So I made her test it out and she did. She like ran, jumped, anything she could do and she was healed. Yeah. <laughs> She's, I was, uh, I forget how many were there. I know I was there with Jason when we did that. And uh, one thing I love is the faith of people when they know something changed and she knew her knee felt different. Yeah. And she literally, without talking to us, just took off running. <laughs> and she was running up and down in the grass, realizing that she had no knee pain whatsoever. And then she wanted everybody to know. She was telling <laughs> us, she was telling her husband, she was announcing it that God had healed her knee. I mean, how amazing is that, that he does that? And this may be the second or third testimony we shared about knees being healed. Yeah. And even, and it's not like we, just so you know, like we have a list of testimonies, but we pray fully every day about which one we need to share. And so just knowing the language of God that three times out of 16 days that he is brought up wanting uh, to share about knees being healed means that he really wants to do it for you. And so if you are listening to this mm -hmm. and you have knee issues, I am telling you right now, like I believe with all my heart, you're going to be healed yes. right this second as you're listening to this. Uh, like even before we pray, I think for some right now, the pain is going to start leaving your knee. Some of you are going to start exercising your faith, meaning you're going to start running because you just heard a testimony of someone running and you're going to realize you don't have pain anymore. You're going to squat down and realize you have mobility that you haven't had in years and that God is healing you in that. Yeah. And we want to pray to not just um, for uh, knees, but also um, I just feel like joints in general. If you're having any issue with any joint today, uh, we just want to pray right now that you would be healed in the name of Jesus. Um, ankles, hips, shoulders, wrists, uh, any any kind of joint uh, that you are experiencing pain or limited movement. Uh, I believe that God is wanting to heal, to take away all of the pain and restore every bit of movement in those joints. Yeah. So we just release that right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah, we do. Just complete and total healing. Yeah. And so let us know. Like one, to pray, but two, let us know if pain left, yes. left you and you tested it out. And then I think the other thing, and I'm going to put Jason on the spot here mm -hmm. just for a second, but 
uh, because she's talking about going out and praying for people. And I feel like today God is going to start placing in people a hunger to go out and minister. Yeah. And I think for some, it sounds really scary to approach a stranger. And I mean, I'll just be honest with you. It's never super comfortable, but being obedient to the Lord releases his world and his kingdom for miracles to take place. So I was just going to ask Jason real quick because uh, Jason came into our life when she was about 12 years old, 11 or 12. And anyways, but she loves treasure hunting. <laughs> and so I just want her to share real quick off the top of her head. What is it about going out and praying for people that you love so much? Just to see them joyful. Oh, it's peaceful. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it brings peace to me. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. The, the ability to see the look on people's faces when they encounter the Lord yeah. is, is worth it. It's worth the uncomfortableness <laughs> of going up to a stranger and saying, can I pray for you? Or is, do you have this going on? And all of that. And so I feel like God's also putting a hunger in people to start doing this. Mm -hmm. And so take a hold of that. That that's a testimony of Jesus is the ability to go out and, and encourage, pray for people. Yeah. It's good. Anything else? That's good. So tomorrow will be day 17. Yes. And, uh, and keep the comments coming. Uh, we'd love to hear them. Uh, the prayer request will be on tomorrow. Uh, we love all of you so, so much. Uh, we had a, so much fun last night. Yes. Uh, we extended our testimony time into having some prophetic ministry and encouraging others. And we're probably going to do that some more before the end of the month. So be looking for that. We'll probably advertise ahead of time. Um, but other than that, we love you guys so much. And we will see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye.